Hello, welcome to Callum channel, my channel updates Liverpool news today. If this is your first time watching the video, don't forget to click subscribe. You wouldn't know it from the results alone, but Liverpool have navigated their way through a centre-back crisis lately. Joel Matip's two-month-long Liverpool layoff goes on. His last run-out came at Manchester United on October 20 and it would require a leap of faith to suggest he will return to the fold when the Reds travel to Leicester on Boxing Day. Meanwhile, Dejan Lovren has struggled with his own fitness issues, pulling up during the first half of the 3-0 win at Bournemouth on December 7 before again being forced off with a hamstring complaint three days later in Salzburg. The 30-year-old was visibly in pain as he hobbled away from the Red Bull Arena and he could be set for few weeks on the shelf as a result. Virgil van Dijk's absence for the Club World Cup semi-final against Monterey then sparked more than a mild panic as captain Jordan Henderson was pressed into his first appearance as a centre-back with the Dutch captain Unwell. Fabian Hoss ankle issue, one that has kept him on crutches and in a protective boot, forced Jurgen Klopp's hand in naming Henderson as a makeshift centre-half against the Mexicans. Just as well then, that Joe Gomez picked the perfect moment to put together his best run of the season. It's been a mixed bag so far for the England international, despite Liverpool's ongoing success. Having lost his status as first choice thanks to Matip's impressive form when deputising, Gomez then slipped behind Lovren in the order. The Croatian solid displays alongside Van Dijk dropped Gomez to fourth choice and the efforts to regain his place were occasionally shaky. He was in the side that shipped five to Arsenal in the Carabao Cup in October while also being caught out at times in the narrow 4-3 win Salzburg at Anfield earlier that month. However, Gomez's return to form has helped Liverpool to three clean sheets in his last four starts with arguably his most significant contribution reserved for the Club World Cup final on Saturday. The former Charlton Athletic youngster was rock solid beside Van Dijk as he helped limit the threat from Flamengo's dangerous duo Bruno Henrique and Gabriel Barbosa. Commanding, strong and classy in possession, this was the Gomez that was looking like one of Europe's best young centre-backs prior to that leg break at Burnley over 12 months ago. The 22-year-old stood firm to help the Reds through in extra time as they won 1-0 to become world champions for the first time in Anfield history. Gomez said after the game, Winning this only adds to our positivity. We come away from here as champions of the world. Why can't we use that as a positive for the rest of the season? But we know we can't dwell on anything. We're not even halfway through the season yet, so it's a case of heads down and carry on the focus. It's special. We knew coming into it that we hadn't won it as a club before and that was something we wanted to achieve. Credit to all the players, staff and the supporters. Him buzzing that we were able to take this opportunity. You don't get here without winning one of the biggest trophies in the world. It couldn't have come at a better time for Klopp who currently sees his centre-back options stretched to breaking point. Van Dijk's return from illness means the German now has at least two senior centre-backs fit, but it is precarious position the Premier League leaders find themselves in, particularly at such a critical juncture of the campaign. Beneath Van Dijk and Gomez, Klopp has teenage Dutch duo Sepp van den Berg and Key Jenner however to choose from but he will want to avoid such a selection dilemma as they continue their hectic pursuit of a Premier League title. For Gomez, the personal challenge is now clear. Continue to put in the kind of performances that kept Flamengo at bay during Lovren and Matip's ongoing absences and Klopp will be left with a more welcome centre-back crisis when they both return.